want a good, clean fight. Protect yourself at all times. You must obey my commands, okay? Touch them up, good luck, God bless. Of your Dennis Ugas said just yet, he said, I want someone who has gold around their waist, and that is my focus. Well, Ugas, a big right hand starting off the action. They moved here to the United States in March of 2010. He's coming off of a victory over Omar Figueroa Jr. back in July in the co-main event of your card against Manny Pacquiao. That got Ugas' attention for sure. Yeah, he might be on beam, but you know, he wasn't fighting fighters of this caliber. Definitely a step up for right now. The size difference is eye catch, timing call. There was a low blow right there. Shot below, ooh, that was yeah, well below. You know, when this happens, uh, but a fighter is given up to five minutes sometimes to recover. Like a, a knockout go punch to the points, pretty much, you know. He wasn't bent over, it obviously didn't feel good, but here we are, back in action. Clearly, Dallas felt that effect. Could be, but you still gotta be uh, patient. Like, he just got caught with the hook trying to throw the overhand. Right. Overhand right, that connected by Ugas on left hook. Shaking up Mike Dallas. Ugas applying the pressure early. Ugas, known as a knockout puncher, has a knockout percentage of under 40%. He sure is. He caught Dallas with a few punches that I think uh, shook him. He's just looking to land uh, a big punch. Ugas is stalking Mike Dallas Jr. And he's not throwing that overhand. I think he's calmed down a little bit and, and placing his punches right where they need to be. Well, he landed a big right hand as Dallas has his back on the ropes. Slight head movement. An accidental clash of heads caused the laceration on his forehead. Dallas is landing a few punches, but I don't think they're uh, expected as he's coming away. He's getting hit. Dallas Jugas, he looks a lot younger and sharper. Watch that elbow, Mike. He's actually fighting here. He's not sitting there. There's a right hand, right hand that shook up Mike Dallas Jr. They both are exchanging at close distance. And that second round was big for Ugas. He yeah, Dallas coming out strong at the moment. He's not feeling the, the weight of those punches. Well, he's looking forward for the upset. Is it better to be more the underdog, not that you guys have been underdogs in many of your fights, if any, or does it not matter at the end of the day? And here is an inadvertent shot below the belt. 100 seconds to go here in the third. And he makes it very clear, don't retaliate. <laughs> in a little bit of a different way, it's lower. Yeah, that was very unique uh, about how weak he was. The way that his hands could be up and his elbows could be so low. Yeah, I don't think nobody would like it. He got caught with a big overhand right there. Mike Dallas didn't like that too well. He's hurt, and that's why he's exactly he's trying to tie up with your Dennis Ugas. Ugas in control tonight against Mike Dallas. As he's unloading a barrage of punches, a left hook upstairs. Why take this fight? He goes, look, I want to stay busy and stay sharp. I think that speaks volumes as the kind of competitor. He want to be ready at all time, and hopefully he'll get a shot at a uh, world title. Is ring rust a thing in your opinion, gentlemen? Activity before I, I was three, and I was two and a half years. Was it also a case and a big right hand for Uga Stock, Mike Dallas, that when you have a guy who hits you, your punch resistance goes down a little bit because you're not used to getting hit. You gotta get that uh, sparring, but still. So Ugas does not want to be out of the ring. He wants to fight, he wants to be in this fight, as you can tell. Ugas is experienced right with the 08 Olympics, and then he's backing up at the right times. He's not taking... You know, Dennis Ugas is very surgical-like, as he is dissecting Mike Dallas Jr. Ugas is trying to take away the fight from Mike Dallas. Keith, you brought up a great point. Talk about that as we head towards the fifth. Moving to his right with his left hand down a lot and being lazy with that front hand. So he can he can take the old Degradi Ugas throw. So uh, in, in the job he's doing. Main punches, as you can see in his previous fights, that, that counter right hand. Well, your Dennis Ugas has gotten the victory over the likes of Jamal James, also Omar Figueroa Jr. 
left hook that connected for Ugas. It hasn't been mesmerizing, but I think it sets himself up to get another payday assistance to go to Dennis Ugas. Yeah, he's taking a, he's, he's, he's fighting. He ain't, he's not coming in here to lay down. When Dallas is in shape. Yeah, he's just slightly, you know, outclassed here. He's fought Sean Porter. His last opposition was undefeated before. And he was really making a name for himself. Well, speaking of dealing with upset. When you watch uh, Cuban's fight, you know, uh, Laura is more of a, of a mover, you know, but when it comes to just the fundamentals. Big right hand, down goes Dallas, but it was all the slip. Yeah, it was a push. It was, it was a sort of push, but he still, he still, you could have countered it either way. After our main event, right now, though, you're Dennis Ugas in this fight. It's definitely a blowout uh, shutout so far. No. Ugas attacking the body, but getting back to the point that I wanted to make, hey, your cup is high, so you got to be aware of that. Yeah, I actually could hear some of those punches. It's like they, they turned it up. Dennis Ugas, by your Dennis Ugas, that took to the body. Two thirds of the way in favor of your Dennis Ugas. He's pressing a fight, he's hitting him with kind of what he wants. He's, I don't see him picking it up no more. Uh, tremendous skills, but they're just known to be knockout punches. Both of these fighters. Well, Ugas in his last six fights, half of those have come by stoppage, so. Try to do the same and make it four of seven victories by stoppage. It'd be impressive to get that world title fight. There's a big right hand by Ugas. Effort that Dallas put in in, the, in that last round. I'm somehow feeling a little bit more comfortable. He was throwing four punch combinations. Let's hit it to Marcos Viegas, who has the fight score thus far through the first half. Hey, Ray, I got it 60 to 54. Now, look, you know, Mike Dallas is getting his licks in. Thing is, he's just not getting enough of them in uh, by Ugas, and Ugas is landing the better punches. <laughs> Definitely, that's what I was saying, you know. Still, you know, he's moving very well. He's punching very well, but he's just not getting enough. In. Third 12 round fight of his career is one and one in that space. And both fights ended in a knockout. Now Dallas loaded on the body of Ugas. There's a right hand from Mike Dallas. But you're Dennis Ugas still in stalking. That's where the feints are coming at. You know, if you faint him, he's going to commit to a big punch. A right hand on the jaw. There's a left hook. Now Ugas is really picking up the pace. Going downstairs as Ugas, a left cross. And then he gets to walk away with all the credit. Anthony, how debilitating mentally. He was having some success, and then Ugas unloaded and cracked him, and then took back the momentum. Uh, it could be real uh, mentally draining because you did a lot in that round, and he just come back to take the round like that. This was mine, and the corner has waved it off. This one is over. Jordanis Ugas gets the stoppage victory at the end of the seventh. So Ugas looked impressive as he improves his record to 25 and 4. The Cuban bronze medalist successful before his very good friend, Major League Baseball standout Rodas Chapman. Ladies and gentlemen, the end comes at three minutes of round seven. The corner Mike Dallas Jr. has waved off the contest for your winner by technical knockout from Cuba, Jordanis.